In today's video, I just want to talk about a very interesting feature that uh, has been implemented in the standard, in the C standard, uh, that everybody can use. And that is the ISO 646 header. So what is it and what does it do? We'll get to it. First, let's just create a simple program. So let's say I have here just a simple int x, and that is 15. And I just want a simple condition here. If x is um, higher or equal than 10, and x is less or equal than 20 and let's say if also uh, or uh, x is less than zero then i just want to print something on the screen just say print f i don't know result is true doesn't really matter you'll see what i mean by all this if i run this of course i'm just going to get result is true on the screen now what this header does here if i include it so iso 646.h so this header actually creates aliases or really macros for these operators. So instead of uh, the double ampersand operator, what you can say is just simply and, like you do in uh, the Python language. This is, I think, very interesting that you can do this in C and it is in the standard. And you can change this to an OR. And if I run this again, it's gonna work just as well. See, and if I go ahead and change this to, for example, negative five, and this condition will be true now, so I should still see result is true on the screen, so that works. And as you can see, they really just evaluate to the same operator. So if I actually F12 on this, you're gonna notice that I get to the ISO 646.h, and this guy just is uh, expanded to the double vertical bar operator, or the OR operator. And of course, as you can see here, there are many operators that are defined here. So we can also use the bit and and bit or operators. You can use or equals or not equals or all the others, uh, which is something that is quite interesting that you, you usually see in uh, Python and Python related languages, I think. Uh, not so much in languages that are similar to C. And really, if I wanted to, for example, say x equals, let's say zero, I say here x or equals, um, I don't know, one, that would actually work, even though it won't be very legible, it would actually evaluate uh, x to be equal to one after it. It would be the same as saying bit or equals, which would be the same as saying x or one. This should evaluate to just one. And if I try to run this, I should not get result is true on the screen because x is one and it's not between 10 and 20 and it's not less than zero. So I hope you understood this. Uh, so this actually exists in the in the standard, this, lab, this header exists in the standard and the reason behind it is so that it complies to the ISO 646 standard. These macros were actually included in the standard because in the past not all keyboards were QWERTY world as, uh, as standard as ours and some of them might not even have the ampersand or the vertical bar uh, characters on them so you couldn't actually type them. This is why this ISO 646, uh, they, the C language had to comply to that uh, because certain people actually did not have the keys uh, needed to type those operators so this came along to actually fix this. This was the workaround. Now, do I suggest that you should use these from now on? Of course not. Of course, it's going to make a lot of issues if you actually do that. But it's a, I think it's a nice conversation starter, or uh, I think it's a nice prank that you can uh, make uh, on others, maybe. Like sneakily including this header somewhere else down the line, and uh, I don't know, then maybe changing the code up so that it looks like a whole other language, you know? and from then on you just make the person sort of guess what language it is and then uh, they're like oh but it's like you're like but oh it's actually c and uh, yeah it, it makes for a nice conversation starter why this is uh, in the standard and you can really make the argument that this is more legible than the double ampersand operator but right now as most people actually know what those are it's not it doesn't really make much of a difference and uh, it just becomes a mishmash of words at some point if you have too many variables in here so it, in some cases it's better to just have the actual operators in our cases these uh, and and or uh, sort of keywords are 
a bit more legible, but I do suggest that in C you still use the ampersand, the double ampersand operator, of course. Just like this. Do know that these macros in C++ uh, are actually keywords and they also evaluate to the same thing. So this is a sort of interesting fact about C and it's very related to Python in this, in this certain scenario. Of course, it's different in many other ways, but in this certain scenario, it's, it could actually become very similar to it. And that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. If you do have any questions or if you do have anything interesting such as this related to C or really any other language, please do share it in the comments down below or even on the Discord server. You're much welcome. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.